Now in preparation for our um, tutorial, you should explore some of the coding activities that I've provided you with. Um, think about the various applications we can have to use of coding and some of the projects that students could work through and explore and you should be doing that as part of your first assessment task in any event. And then try out some of the coding environments. Explore the use of Scratch and um, the App Lab from code.org and see if you can modify and create your own simple applications and we'll discuss those and how you've gone with that in the tutorials. Have a look at some of the coding environments for text-based coding such as um, one compiler and um, schools three which allow you to put um, different language code into the online environment and it will then execute that code. Now part of that is we can then explore the use of tools such as generative text such as ChatGTP to generate code for us um, and then we can place that into these online compilers and execute the code. Um, Schools 3 also has uh, a whole range of tutorials around the different coding languages and one of its um, strong advantages is that you can see how code will execute in different languages by, by putting it um, into the choosing the different languages and seeing how the code changes um, in those different languages. Of course one of the areas we want students to become familiar with is the idea that coding languages are all relatively the same. They have different advantages and differences but the fundamentals are the same regardless of the coding language. And once students are familiar and comfortable in a coding language, they should be able to learn how to use any coding language without too much additional difficulty. And I've also given you um, a text-based game environment to have a look at. So you can create a, a quick game, only take you a few minutes, um, using a text-based choose your own adventure type game, uh, which is useful, of course, for teaching the concept of selection. And then finally, I've given you a few different contextual links to how you can create a context around your programming activities. So it's so important to provide students, certain students, um, a context for why they're learning a programming language. Now, some boys will engage with coding in a tinkering way and they won't care about the context and a few and some girls but the majority of girls and some boys strongly require a context for the learning and providing a context that's engaging for them such as game making for some students or sports or drama or music or writing can help engage your students with learning coding by giving them a purpose for that learning. 